Welcome to this Thursday night in the NBA, right here on 2K Sports. And tonight, it'll be the Charlotte Hornets going up against the New Orleans Pelicans. Here at their home, the Smoothie King Center. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. Well, Greg, we're in the final stages of the regular season. For teams that are on the outside looking in, what are these final games like? Yeah. And the defenders' respect. A three from McCollum. Oubre pulls it in. Hornets trail by five. Now Rozier. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Stripped away. And now here's Markin in the fast break chance. Ingram wide open. Here's Valanciunas. Plays it up and banks it in. Well, Jonas Valanciunas has the instincts, the size, and the smarts to go ahead and take advantage of that. Daniels with it. His last outing, he had eight points. Shoots over ball. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And that outstanding. We're failing to capitalize on their mistakes. And that one's good. Daniel. Well, as soon as you recognize the size mismatch, you have to attack. Charlotte calls timeout. Is for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Murphy passes to Valanciunas. Fade away. Five on the clock. It's rebounded by Charlotte. And Charlotte's passing has improved a lot in the last few seasons. Greg, even more. Yeah, their assist numbers have been terrific. They keep their turnovers to a minimum. That's a trend you want to see continue. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Graham kicks to Valanciunas. Back to Graham. There's the triple. Good on the triple. Graham's got himself. Orleans on top. They're up by one. From New Orleans, back in a moment. Hey, everybody. Hope you're enjoying the C.J. McCollum show. What a half he's played. Well, he's been absolutely locked in from range. Something my man Kenny knows about. Ain't that right, Jet? Uh, oh, huh, are you talking about me? Oh, I, 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 I didn't even know. You talking about three-point shooting? Locked in? I, I've been, I just know a little bit about it. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Fading mock surprise. Uh. Actually, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about Jason Eugene, Terry. And now, as the season winds down, a look at the Western Conference picture. You know for New Orleans, they're in good position. Definitely among the top teams in the conference. And just as important as the seeding is how you're playing down the stretch. They're trying to dial it in. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. players to execute and this guy has done just that time now for an injury report let's get an update on ingram with david alder hey kevin i chatted briefly with the head athletic trainer for the pelicans he confirms that it is a sprained ankle and as you would expect it's very swollen and it's causing him a lot of discomfort this injury could be devastating for them since the second half started, they've only given up three points. Ball, and ball slams it in. Yeah, you can see the impressive vertical of LaMelo. This guy gets to the cup and slams it home. McCollum outside. Parkinson sets the pick for McCollum. The shot goes down, and he gets this game back to even. Pelicans leading by four. Here's Alvarado. McCollum outside. There's the pick. A three. Knocks down the three ball. 
Well, Cohen's got the first field. To get to the rim, but how about the finish with intention? Oh. Here's Valanciunas, and it's Valanciunas finishing it off. With his strength, it isn't easy to upset Valanciunas. These guys. Well, Cohen outside. That's the three fly, and the three ball is good. Welcome. Welcome outside. Launches a three. They get it back. Valanciunas, and the layup's good off the glass. Valanciunas has got 11 points in the quarter. Rozier against McCollum. Plumley in the post. And here is Rogier. Oubre outside over Murphy. Markinen pulls it in. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved it just one pass more. Rogier against McCollum. Alan Judas with a screen on ball. And when it matters most. The coach has the confidence that McCollum will deliver. Should win here. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. Yeah, Jeff's now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Lori. Strong start for the team. How did you keep that momentum going throughout the game? Yeah, I mean, we've had leads before this season that we blew, so we had that mindset that even if we're up, we're, we're still going to keep pushing, so that's what we did. You kept the pedal to the metal, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance Player of the Game, C.J. McCullough.